Good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new here, my name is Ellie and I'm a third year math student at the University of Leeds and it is two weeks until my exams start. So today is definitely a day where I just wanna get a lot of work done. And then in the evening, I'm going climbing with my housemates. So a bit of background about how term is working at the moment for my university. So basically we're still in teaching this week. So the way Leeds do it is we do eight weeks before Easter. We have a month off for Easter and then we have two weeks more of teaching, which is okay because a couple of my modules have already finished. They finish before Easter. But the annoying thing is, is my first module, you know, my first exam is a module that hasn't finished teaching at all. It's going to finish right at the end of this week. So I only have a week to revise it. And there are quite a few past papers that I want to get done. Basically, I've decided to split each of my days now per module. The way that I did it over Easter was I did them in bulk and kind of got all the content. Well, tried to get all the content done that was, was available. And now it's a case of doing one module a day. But today I'm doing hydrodynamic stability, which is basically looking at the stability of fluid flow. So it's very, it's, it's fluid dynamics. You need to have done fluid dynamics one and fluid dynamics two to have done this module. And it is literally the my favorite module this semester. I love it so much. I have the best lecturer for it. It's just a module that I just love so much i <laughs> you know and you can kind of like nerd out about about a certain module and this is definitely the one so i'm i thought i'm gonna film a day in the life where i'm doing a, a module that i absolutely love i don't you know I, I love my other modules as well don't get me wrong but i just have this kind of like excitement i'm excited to revise for this module because i enjoy it so much i realize i've been doing quite a lot of day in the life videos on my on my channel but that's basically because they're a lot easier to film during exam season so my idea is once i finish the exams i'm going to do a whole range more videos things like everything i learned in my third year everything i learned in my second year honest opinions of a maths degree going through all the modules I, I learned ranking them just loads of different i've got so many videos planned and then also applying to masters as well i've got a lot of videos planned so just bear with the uh, day in the lives for the moment so if you are interested in videos like those then make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn the bell notifications on and give this video a like if you enjoyed it and also comment down below because i love to hear people's feedback on my videos and also what videos they want to see next so without further ado i'm going to get cracked on eat my breakfast and start a day worth of pretty intense revision. <laughs> so what I'm currently doing is basically we've done the past paper for this module. We only get given one past paper, but what I've decided to do is kind of look outside of the material and see if there's any other past papers at other universities that are similar. And basically the University of Cambridge do a hydrodynamic stability module, but only half of it is included in their syllabus. Like what we've learned is half of what they've learned. So I've now started doing Cambridge past papers, which is quite, <laughs> it's quite eventful. So that's what I'm on with today. There's a few pa past papers on there, so I'm just gonna use them to practice. Because obviously these papers are when it was sit down exams, a lot of the stuff is kind of regurgitating the material in the lecture notes. I'm tempted to just leave the stuff where it's literally just regurgitating lecture notes because my lecturer has said that won't be on the exam. We're not going to get you to just copy from the lecture notes because then everyone would do incredibly well. So, <laughs> so my idea is that I'm going to go through each of these past papers, do the questions where they're not in the lecture notes or the actual applied questions so there are a couple of questions in the paper that i can't do because of the syllabus it's not on our syllabus but there's a lot that i can do and a lot that's very similar but again it's book work so that's the only downside to it but hopefully the other past papers may have some things in there as well that i can attempt it comes a point with like open book exams that there's only so much that you can do whereas for actual exams you can continually test your knowledge on on the lecture notes and things but because we have our notes in these open book exams there's it's more you just need to find questions to do which is what i'm trying to do with all, all these cambridge past papers
papers is you don't know what is actually kind of examinable for your for your module obviously because this past paper is from cambridge and i'm studying at leeds so the syllabus is a different so my plan right now is just to look through the other two past papers make a note of which questions i can do and which ones i can't do and that's the plan for after lunch so once i've finished just looking through these last two past papers i'm gonna grab some lunch and then this afternoon i'll probably spend a couple hours on on these past papers before i do some dissertation work which is great and i'm so excited to go climbing tonight like i'm quite tired i must admit but i feel like going there is such a social kind of thing i'm going with my housemates and i'm just so excited to go and climb and have a bit of fun so i'm gonna start looking through these past papers and then i'll grab some lunch Wait, yeah why Okay, so it is quarter past, nearly quarter past 12 and I just went to make some lunch which is not really that appetising to be honest. It's basically just cold pizza from last night and then some hummus and peppers and carrots. I'm going to chill for the next 15 minutes, half an hour, eat my lunch and then start doing a bit more hydrodynamic stability. just gone half 12 and i finished my lunch i watched something on youtube my my friend victoria is desperate to get me to do a 10,000 calorie challenge on this channel and i've been watching them and i'll either watch them and then crave a takeaway or i'll watch them and then just feel absolutely sick so i don't know whether i want to do a 10,000 calorie challenge or not so if you want me to do a 10,000 calorie challenge just comment down below and <laughs> i'll see how many people actually want one paper and it's just like ha ah. anyway so this question is part of question two which i said i was getting on with and it's a really nice question it's like substituting but it's so long that i'm i'm on three pages at the moment just expanding it out to try to get a j value and i know i've made a mistake somewhere because the coefficients don't add up which isn't ideal and that's the whole point is i'm trying to find this j so what i'm going to do now is just go through everything and just check where i've made a mistake so i'm hopefully gonna try and solve this question now i hope anyway so i've realized i was just going through it and i know that i've definitely forgotten a minus sign when you differentiate sec squared because it i was putting two sec tanch which makes no sense if you don't understand maths but anyway <laughs> i was putting two sec tanch instead of minus two sec tanch so i know that when i go onto here there's definitely going to be an error somewhere so hopefully i'll find it and then come back and tell you that i found it and then hopefully solve j I've done it <laughs> and I got to a point where I was like just staring at it like where have I gone wrong because obviously I realised that I differentiated wrong because I missed out a minus sign and then it started flowing really well and then I was like these have to cancel these two here must cancel it was literally that I decided that a plus k squared plus k squared was zero I, <laughs> I think I just read it as like a minus and thought they cancelled and they didn't so with the plus k squared i managed to get everything to cancel and i've got a very nice value for the value that, that they need in the question and also it's kind of a value that intuitively you could have guessed just prior when you started substituting things in so i'm very happy that i managed to get that done so i'm going to do the little last part of writing on this and then go and take all my plates and everything downstairs and then do a bit more hydro mm. to get done i feel like 
although I am doing past papers that aren't from my university. It's really helped me familiarise myself with the content itself because obviously there was a bit of crossover. So I'm basically gonna just get organised now and just put everything in files because as you can see on my desk it's a, a bit of a kind of mess everywhere. So I'm gonna organise everything now and then I'm gonna go make an early tea so I don't get a stitch at climbing and then I'm gonna come do some dissertation work but I'm gonna tell you exactly what's going on with that when I come back. So time to get organised. In the kitchen, I have decided, excuse the noise of the washing machine as well, I have decided to come and make my tea, which is the epitome of health and is literally just going to be a garlic bread and some leftover pizza because I'm waiting for my shop to come tomorrow and then that's my tea for today and then I'll actually start eating some healthy food when my Asa shop comes tomorrow. Adam's been working out. <laughs> Don't put that in the vlog. I'm putting that in the vlog. No. No, 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 no. Our kitchen is such a mess. This is Adam's section of so my my whey and my casein and my creatine. And then and my pre. Yep. And then This better not go in the vlog. I'm so That's my section, just the coffee and the tea. Oh yeah, my last vlog I was like, I've got caffeine and, and I'm and I'm I'm back on the caffeine. I was surprised. The idea now is to basically go through my dissertations. So I am going to do a video on my channel once exams are finished just explaining how dissertations work but essentially we all got given a dissertation title and then we did a dissertation on that. So our dissertations were due in on the 31st of March so that was the first week of, of the Easter holidays. So that got submitted, that was done and I was happy with it but along with a the dissertation we get a questioning session which I've heard has, from other people theirs have been pretty awful. So I'm kind of worried about that. Essentially, it's just a session with your supervisor and the external marker and the external marker. And I think the supervisor ask you questions about your report, but they can ask you really in-depth stuff. So I basically just want to get all of my the possible questions they could ask me and get it in depth and understand it. Because I understood my dissertation quite well when I did write it up and I was really happy with it. That was, you know, over a month ago. So now it's just going to be a case of reading back through my dissertation and I'm going to write loads of questions that they could possibly ask me. Obviously I won't cover absolutely everything because I've got no idea what they could ask me but I'm going to write a whole list of questions and then just answer them. I'm going to crack on and do my dissertation. So I've just done a few of those questions and I am honestly so tired from staring at my screen all day but it is now half past so I'm going to get changed into my climbing stuff. I'm gonna have a cup of tea because I'm feeling pretty tired. I said I'd cut out caffeine but I'm back on the caffeine because I'm back at uni I guess and I've got a lot of tea bags that need uh, using up. So the plan now is to get changed and then I will start doing a bit of vlogging when we go climbing which I'm so excited for. I feel like I've really earned it today. I've done so much work and yeah pretty happy so I'm gonna get changed and then I'm gonna go <laughs> I can hear them all we're ready to go climbing <laughs> you're gonna be so annoying are you ready to go climbing Adam not really <laughs> oh god there you go David has a Twitch stream, everybody. Twitch.tv slash his name's David. Alright. <laughs> Captain it, Alex. <laughs> He's got to do it now because I'm filming him. <laughs> How do you zoom? Wow, I look so gross. We're back from climbing and I've basically decided to prank Adam and take his light bulb out of his room because he's downstairs and then I'm going to tell him to come upstairs and scare him so that's going to be fun. I need to set up the camera somewhere so I don't know where to do it. Did you get my light bulb out again? No, I didn't. She's not behind the door, where is she? I'm not going again, but where's no, my light bulb? No, what you should do is you should talk to her for your shower. 
No, she's in my shower. Yeah, no, she's, she's in the shower. shower. She's in my shower. She's, she's turned yours on. <laughs> open the door. Open the door. Why did you open your door? She's gonna scare me. Is she? Ellie, give me my light bulb back. It was one of those like clattering teeth. Yeah. Oh, she's in the shower. 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 <laughs> Can you even turn your phone on? Your shower's on, you want to know? No, Ellie! Where's my light bulb? <laughs> Where is it?